Hello and welcome to another meditation. Experience solar light and infinite holy light for our global network and planetary cities of light and planetary ocean reserves of light. I am Alicia and today it is April 1st, 2024. Before we begin, please take three deep breaths. And as you exhale slowly, go into a state of spiritual relaxation. Now release your ego attachments, your critical mind, and merge energetically with the Arcturians and your fellow starseeds, planetary healers that are working together with us today. Juliano, Sananda and Metatron are with us. Let us recalibrate our aura into the shape of the cosmic egg and ask Juliano to send down quantum omega light to coat our cosmic egg with this new light. We take a moment to receive and feel this light coating our cosmic egg. Juliano now sends down the violet Arcturian light and distributes it to each of us. And this light will enable us to accelerate this group's consciousness, energy, cohesiveness and coherence. And this quantum light will help us to utilize in a higher light all of the Arcturian spiritual planetary tools. Oh. Shimmer now your cosmic egg. Da 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 The central core of the Kabbalah deals with the Zohar energy. The Zohar energy is the infinite light that comes from the Creator source and is manifested in this galaxy and our universe. The Creator source has deemed such a light source to appear and he, she communicates to this light. Those of higher power or higher beings can interpret and receive messages from this light. How fantastic is it to relate to the Zohar light and step down the energy so that this light becomes interpretable to those of lower vibrations.
How is it that you can relate to this communication? Receive. And receiving this light is communicating with it. It is a communication beyond words. In your highest meditative state, you are not in the ego state or the verbal state. If you attempt to verbalize what you are experiencing, oftentimes the verbalization can cause the energy to be stepped down. I want to bring you this experience of the solar light. And it is my belief that you are ready to experience that light. You are ready to have the experience without any thoughts or any interference from attempting to verbally explain or categorize it. The ego also includes the ability to think using the categories and duality that are so prevalent in this culture. Your culture is not really cared up for the fifth dimensional work. The Arcturians and other of higher light have a culture based on fifth dimensional energy, fifth dimensional being. Their cultures make room for non-ego, non-verbal experience. And you will find in the Arcturian ships, for example, places where on can go to be in tune with this light. Unification with this light is going to benefit you by raising your vibration. Raising your vibration will bring you to another level so that you can experience more directly the solar light. To experience the solar light fully, you must go beyond the realm of nothing or noting. Incidentally, the light is increasingly becoming stronger as you are getting closer to the ascension. Remember, you are a vessel. And the word Kabbalah means to receive. The problem with being a vessel is that you must be strong enough to receive the currents coming down. You are now becoming strong vessels. You are going to be able to hold more light. And we are going into the level of strongly receiving the Zohar light. The Zohar is the Hebrew word for splendor, or brilliant splendor. Sananda receives so her light directly, and then he steps it down, so that you can access it more easily. Attaque buur, attaque buur, attaque buur, Adonai, attaque buur, Adonai, attaque buur, Adonai. You are great, Adonai. I call on the light from the highest source, the light from the Creator, Elohim, Adonai.
I move up to the divine light, the holy light, our Hakadosh, and let this holy light come down. Our Hakadosh, holy light. I now move up to the infinite holy light, our I am soft. That light which has no end, our I am soft, our ha I am soft. We move up now to the infinite one without end. Now we go from this Ein Sof to the central sun energy in the galaxy. This is the source of the creator energy in this galaxy, the central sun. Create your corridor of light. Go in your mind with thought projection to the central sun. Traveling to the central sun is going to the core of this galaxy. All galaxies are linked together to the central sun of each galaxy. Each central sun galaxy is linked to the primordial central sun. The primordial center. As you go to the primordial center, you will come to the primordial man, the primordial Adam. When the universe was created, the light formulated the primordial man, Adam Katman, the primordial Adam. All of the souls on earth originated through his mind. His mind is directly linked to the creator mind. We will go now inside the body of Adam Kutman. When you are in the body of Adam Kutman, you are also connected to the central sun of the Milky Way. You are connected to all of the central suns of all of the galaxies in the universe as well, as to the creator light. 
I want you to look to his eyes outward. The eyes of Adam Kutman can see the infinite light of the soul that is manifested. Look through his eyes and see that light going infinitely to the entire universe. That is a brilliant, infinite light. That infinite light is circling the universe and to every being. Know that light is reaching you and going into your vessel and physical body. You are now tuned in to the vibration of the Sora light. You are connected. You can receive all beings that are alive have the codes to receive this infinite light from the Creator. You have taken the right path. Take this light and follow it to different areas. I want you to take the light and connect to the Arcturian Stargate. Travel in your mind to the Arcturian Stargate. When you are at the Arcturian Stargate, you will see above the Stargate a huge crystal. This is a special crystal that is designed to receive and magnify this light. We are talking now about fifth dimensional beings and fifth dimensional energy that is designed to receive and magnify the light from the Sohar. This brilliant light, the light of splendor. Stay connected also to the eyes of the Adam Kutman. His eyes are gleaming. I ask you now to put the image of his eyes into your eyes. Even though your eyes remain closed, You can take the image of his eyes, looking at the Zohar light, and receive it into your eyes. Mm. 
Now you can see this wonderful light. You can use this light to connect with an entry into the fifth dimension. Those who see the splendor of the Lord, Adonai Elohim, Adonai Eshat, will be granted entrance into the gardens and into the world to come. Olam Haba. The fifth dimensional realm of the city of justice. You must only see and feel this light to gain access to his entry point. Your Arcturian friends can appear to you. And you will see that their eyes are especially adapted to seeing this wonderful solar light. And they can use, use their being and whole bodies to receive and process light. move up to the higher dimensions. You become totally devoted to this task of experiencing this beautiful Soha light. Your higher self can connect and work with this light. And the higher self is going to connect totally to your light body. Your light body is always receiving the vibration from the light of the Zohar. I call on Sananda to intensify the light now so that we can build up to a higher intensity of Soha light. Look at the light to your eyes that are closed. Open your interior eye and your third eye. There is a pathway for all the follower who wish to come to a higher place. The evolution of your souls involves moving to a place, to a realm where you can be more in alignment with this wonderful light. You will take the higher aspects of self with you when you leave earth. See and hear the solar light now. We can go to multi-dimensions, see and hear. Everything has a tone and a visual presence. And Sananda 
is an intermediary. See light coming from his eyes. From his eyes, heart. And from his hands down to you. He is assisting us. He is helping to step down this brilliant light. The tree of life at Sahayim is a way of describing how the energy is stepped up and stepped down. You are stepping up energy. You are stepping up your receptors. And think holy light. Holy light. with your mind and eyes. As you are looking at the Arcturian Stargate, our dear friend Archangel Metatron wishes to speak with you. Kadosh, 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 Adonai, Tevayo. Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. And you are coming to such a high level that we are able to assist you in unlocking any codes that are limiting you so that you can participate fully in the light experience that is before you. You are being granted this ability to be on a higher light frequency. Hear my words and let them step up your light intensity, your light frequency and your ability to receive. Holy, holy, holy. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Adonai Tevayot Holy is the Lord of hosts, Neshama Higher light body, you are light You can look and see the infinite light that goes on forever. Come down this tunnel that is before us by the star gate. Come into this tunnel of light with me. We will go on a journey of light, travel down the corridor with your mind and with me and all this light.
We are traveling so fast through this light corridor. Atake Bua Adonai. You are great, Adonai. And we look down the tunnel. The tunnel is infinite. There is a special strand of light that is more intense than what you saw before. You can tolerate it. Follow the light. It is infinite. It comes to a point of origin that is infinite. It is the infinite mind of Elohim that is manifested this way. We cannot describe it. We cannot even speak of it. Come into the source of this light, which is the mind of Elohim. The source of our light. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, forever and ever. Leolam Bayet. Now I call on you to return from the tunnel. Passing through the Arcturian star gate on the outer edge. back into your physical body. Set down this light into your physical body back on earth. Let it come into your crown chakra and let it fill your physical body. Return from the tunnel, passing to the Arcturian star gate on the outer edge, back into your physical body. And you are now filled with this new energy. And you can look out as your eyes are closed and see infinite light. You are now a connector on earth in this infinite light, holy light. Awaha Kadesh. You are now a holy spirit on earth. You now walk as a holy light being. A light is streaming from your eyes and from your hands, from your crown chakra and from your third eye, from your heart chakra and from your feet. And you are all just filled with a light energy. You have a strand of solar light with you. And on the count of three, you bilocate back to the location of your physical body. One, two, three, now. And prepare to enter your body. And you are six feet above your physical body. And you will have to contract your aura a little bit in order to re-enter. Do that now and re-enter in perfect alignment. You are back in your physical body. 
and continuing to feel your shimmering line as you ground yourself back into the earth. And before you open your eyes, let us complete today's energy work with the following visualization. The brilliant Soha light that goes forth infinitely to the universe. Absorb this light, this Soha light. And now, when you absorb this light, place your hands in front of your heart in the pure heart true love position with palms facing upwards. Sides touching and send your love to your planetary city of light or planetary reserves of light oceans of light and to the network and all humanity and the community and all the people of your city we go in silence Beautiful. Ground yourself more and more. Breath deeply in and out. And when you are ready, please open your eyes and return to normal consciousness. And may the light integrate it as a powerful healing force into each of your energy fields and your city of light and oceans reserves of light as you are seekers of light and that light is available to each of you today. Blessings to all of you for this needed and powerful work today. Your love for Mother Earth and mankind. Shalom.